Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here with LawAbidingBiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. All right, guys, so what I have in front of me here is the Schuberth C3 Modular Helmet. I'm going to call it a touring helmet um, for a lot of reasons that we're going to go through, but uh, definitely um, uh, a long-distance type touring helmet. All right, I've been searching for helmets for a long, long time. Uh, I'll be quite honest, I'm a half-helmet type of guy a lot of times, but there have been many, many times on those long rides like this year we're going to Sturgis, and on those long, long days when you're in the saddle for six to seven hours, maybe you're doing a lot of riding, it certainly would be nice to have a full face helmet with the capabilities of a modular. Um, inclement weather, raining, when it's cold out, I ride year round. Uh, we live in the desert, it gets very, very hot and very, very cold. And this helmet serves, serves well in both climates. Um, when it's raining or cold, oftentimes I have to put a bandana over my face and goggles with a half helmet. And there's a whole bunch of gear that you have to get on. Then your goggles, fog, and all that kind of stuff. With a simple modular helmet, um, you know, full face helmet, you get rid of that problem. We're not going to get into today, you know, the safety benefits of a full face versus a half helmet. That's your choice. Um, I'm just doing a review on the Schuber C3 in case you were interested for your particular style and what kind of writing you do in case you're in the market for a modular helmet. No, I put a lot of research into this, guys. Looked all over. It wasn't an easy decision. Um, the only other helmet that I compared this to, really, I had it narrowed down after my very, very extensive research of the Schuber C3 and the Shoei Neotech, which kind of go head to head. There are some real basic reasons, um, and then we'll get in later in the video. I'm gonna tear this thing down for you and show you some of the features, but at the end of the day, Schuberth has been making modular helmets the longest. They invented it. They actually invented this type of modular helmet before anybody else was even thinking about it. German engineering, um, it is the quietest, guaranteed. It is the lightest um, uh, and probably best built modular helmet on the market today and that's why those were some of the reasons uh, it's also uh, dot department of transportation uh, rated and ece rated guys um, not mo most modulars can't claim ece rating so those are just some really quick reasons right off the top uh, that i went with the schuber c3 you'll notice the schuber c3 it uh um, I, I like it a, a lot because of the look of it. I didn't want to look like an alien and a big popsicle head. You guys see some of those round helmets. Um, this is very, very sleek. It's smaller um, because it's lighter and, and uh, than the showy Neotech. Um, and you can just see the shape of it. It still looks very, it's very aerodynamic. Uh, Shoeworth has their wind tunnels. They test all this stuff. Like I say, they've been doing it the longest when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, again, modular so obviously it locks in place and acts as a full face um, and then right underneath here simple latch very very sturdy it's got metal pins up here it locks up uh, smoker's helmet right some people will call it a smoker's helmet well what the heck if you got them smoke them right but that's actually not what it was designed for um, it was designed you know you're not supposed to ride with it up like this this would be at intersections where you want to get some air you want to talk to your buddy or something like that um, they i do see people riding with them up but they say for full effect and safety it needs to be down and locked it's a very very smooth pin lock or, or excuse me very very smooth locking system you can hear that. It doesn't feel clunky. You know, when it comes to modulars, guys, you guys, if you are researching modulars, you can go everywhere from, you know, $200 to 1000 I mean, really. And some of those other modulars on the market, they, like I say, they're big, they're bulky. You look like a popsicle head. Um, you know, everybody's budget is different. I understand that, um, which is why I waited a long time and saved to buy this helmet. Because if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. And I want it to last me well into the future and meet all my needs. Um, so there are there is a lot of you know less than uh, good stuff out there on the market that you'll see uh, when it comes to helmet helmets. Um, I will tell you that this is definitely super super quiet. I went out and uh, after you watch this video, make sure you head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash vlog14, V-L-O-G 14. Again, lawabidingbiker.com slash vlog14. 
14, I went out and I actually did a moto biker vlog while I was riding and I had my camera on and my mic up in my helmet and I go through the different things on this, but I'm telling you, this thing is super quiet. There's a lot of reasons for that. So anyways, those are the basics on why I went with the Schubert C3. It is a spendy helmet. And uh, if you guys appreciate this video, I am going to break this down for you guys and show you some of the other features on it. But uh, if you do decide that you want to purchase any uh, gear, you can uh, hit up one of our affiliates. No additional cost to you. We do get a small kickback if you decide to make a purchase after clicking through on one of our uh, affiliate links. I got this from Revzilla. You can go to lawabidingbiker.com slash Revzilla and uh, it'll put you right through. And then like I say, if you do make a purchase, it does help us out. Puts a little fuel in the Law Abiding Biker gas tank so we can keep this thing going on down the road for you guys. Um, we really appreciate that type of support. Also, we have an Amazon, lawabidingbiker.com slash Amazon or slash Motorcycle Superstore or slash JMP Cycles. You can get all those if you want to see which uh, affiliate links we have at lawabidingbiker.com slash affiliate links. All the banners are there. You can click through, see where you can get the best deal. Like I say, if you make a purchase, we do get a small kickback. So with that said, I do want to talk about, obviously, uh, we'll break this down a little bit. So it's got the, uh, um, obviously, the pop-up shield, which is really nice. Okay. And it's got really super nice detents, guys. Um, what, what I mean by that is it's super smooth and quiet. A lot of the cheaper helmets are really clunky and junky and uh, you will feel the German engineering and the quality in this thing. Um, and you can lock it up like that. It locks very well when I ride in city environment. Um, you can lock it up just one notch or two notches or anything like that. And of course, we've got the uh, lockdown sun visor. Um, I hate changing shields. Uh, I had a helmet in the past that is just a pain in the ass and unnecessary when I'm riding and then I'm riding into dusk. I just, you know, riding in the sun, I can do my pop down visor. It's very, very smooth, very smooth. And it's right on the side here and that pops it down. It's a very smooth, smooth operation. So, all right, those are some of the main features of this. Now let's uh, come in a little closer and we'll get a closer look at this thing. All right, guys, now that you're in closer, a little bit tighter, let's take a look. Of course, the nice detents, the shield. The nice thing about the Schuber C3 is it comes with a pin lock system already. It is included when you purchase the helmet. That's this inner shield that you see. See the outer shield? On the inside is our pin lock system. And all the pin lock system is is a wonderful anti-fog um, measure that they take. And that basically is a shield. There's a little space in between the main shield that creates a curtain of air. It uh, keeps the hot air inside the helmet so that it can't touch the cool air. That, that pin lock system and that alone uh, changes it so that it doesn't fog and it does a super good job. And again, a lot of helmets sell that afterwards. That comes with the Schuber C3 right up here. This thing's very aerodynamic, you can see. It's got these little wind diffusers up here that's supposed to help. And like I say, um, riding down the road, this thing is quiet and it diffuses the air so it can't get up in here. Um, I will tell you that this, the air and the flow, when I turn my head to do head checks and stuff, um, and, and even going 70, 80 miles an hour down the freeway, there is no whistling. There is no wind noise. This thing is just amazing how it seals up. Once you, you know, if you want to ride in the city, you can keep it up a little bit, whatever. I just reach up after I close it when I'm getting out on the freeway or something, then you can just with one hand push down that locks it, that seals it in place and you will get zero wind noise after that. All right. Let's talk about the shield real quick and work on taking it off. So it comes off super easy on both sides. Um, we'll pop the shield up like so, and you'll see these little tabs right there. They just push forward. There's one on both sides. And I'll just reach over here. I'm trying to keep it in frame for you guys. And once you do that, you just rock it back a little bit. I pushed forward on that. And the obviously the shield comes right off. I'm just gonna set the helmet out of the way for a second. So here you can see the shield. There's the pin lock system right there. And you can actually flex the shield and I could actually pop this out right here. And uh, that allows me to take this pin lock system off. That's that little shield, anti-fog, the little coat of air between it, really, really nice. All right, so really easy to get the shield back on. I've only done this one other time since I've had this helmet because I haven't had a need to take it off, but you can, Basically just, you'll see the channels in there 
and get, get your shield in there. I'm doing the other side that you guys can't see. And then just simply rock it forward. And now your shield's back on. That is how easy that is, guys. That is many years of developing this detent system and the shield lock system. I mean, you cannot ask it uh, to be any easier than that or to get it off to clean it or remove your pin lock system, okay? And of course, in here, one of the best benefits, like I say, instead of shields, uh, instead of switching shields all the time, I ride in the sun, I can simply put that down the way I'm doing that is right on the side here. And it's actually got multiple, you could kind of stop it wherever you want, but it is so smooth compared to some other helmets I've tried. Um, yeah, just very, very solid. Nice thing is, this comes down plenty far. You'll see some cheaper helmets. They'll only come down partially. They kind of miss the mark on that, so to speak. And it'll be really high in your nose, and you'll actually get sun underneath here. Uh, so beware of that when you're checking for modular helmets. Make sure that that thing goes down really far, like the Shoeworth here. So that's kind of the shield system, and it does work very well. Obviously, you're down in. You can pop your shield right in there. When it's sunny and when it gets night, pop it right up. All right, let's talk about venting a little bit. Um, you have the vent right here on the chin. You can open or close, and that obviously gets some air up in the chin area, the breath guard area and all that. Um, then on the top, you've got your, right here, you've got air in, okay? And you've got closed all the way forward, and you've got medium and then high. You can feel the different positions when you're pulling it back. And I'll tell you, uh, I actually, uh, road in, in my vlog 95 degrees uh, heat guys in city traffic and I honestly tell you this thing vents so well and the materials they use on the inside the mesh and the moisture wicking and the venting system I literally was not my my body was sweating my back and stuff bad visual for you I know but I'm telling you that my head was not sweating. It was very, just a little bit moist and that's it. I could not believe, and that was with everything down. I just had that up there um, a little bit to get some air. And then of course, as soon as I got on the freeway, it was no problem at all. So those are your two vents. I will tell you this vent is very, very nice. When you open it up immediately, um, you'll feel just on the top of your head just a little bit. Um, you'll feel two little air channels and they actually run through and back down the back of the helmet. Then once it runs down the back of the helmet, right here you'll see those two channels go right in here and this is where it wicks away the air and the moisture. Um, that's your vent um, escape right there. And I forget it's some massive amount of air like uh, two gallons a second or something that rushes through this thing. So it vents very, very well. Um, it stays dry in there even ex in, in extreme heat, but that's your venting system. You can close it all the way off, of course. This, if you want, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but it, I have popped it right off. You can pop this little deal off and then stick it underneath the back and pop it. You'll see the two very large holes in there. And then of course, inside the helmet, there's a channel that runs. And like I say, you'll feel it across the top of your head just a little bit when you open and close it. it does a very, very good job of venting. I had no problems there whatsoever. Really, I didn't have any problems with anything on this helmet. Um, all right, with that said, let's go ahead and obviously the mechanism for the modular portion is right there. It's super easy to get to. I ride with gloves. It's super easy to reach up and pop that. And then of course, once it's up, it locks right in place like so. Okay, and then uh, it, you, all you do to get it down is simply rock it back down. There's no uh, button or anything like that. It just, it's holding itself there, no problem. Just reach up, down, and then it locks in position. All right, so that's the modular portion. Let me tell you another big reason I bought this helmet and I like it is uh, it's got this really awesome ratcheting system. I hate D-rings. These companies that are using D-rings are ridiculous and uh, can't stand D-rings. And that's the typical standard motorcycle where you have to loop it through. I can get this on faster than guys with quick clips most of the time. I just reach up. It's just like a snowboard strap if you're familiar with snowboarding. And uh, you can basically tighten it push in and tighten it as much as you want. And then when you get to destination, even with gloves, I've, I'm doing it, you just reach up and pull on this little red tab and it comes right out. Super slick, super quick, and uh, like I say, super easy to get. I will uh, get, get on with gloves. I will tell you, just make sure you wouldn't want these uh, this fabric all bunched up and you're putting your strap on like this because it is a metal and you know it could get up in your chin. So the way I do it is I just make sure I feel for this 
and uh, I make sure that it's over like so, and it's really easy to do once you get it, and then I strap it in that way. All on my chin is this really nice fabric, so that's a little trick there. It's got a really nice uh, chin curtain here. This is the reason I'll tell you that the shoe berth is so, so quiet. You can see the only thing, this is your neck roll here, the only thing that the wind can get in, it can't because this is obviously a padded neck roll and it's sealed around your neck along with the chin curtain here. This doesn't remove the chin curtain. I'll tell you that, that stays on. Um, but this neck roll uh, keeps everything out, all the wind and stuff. And so that's that's uh, probably one of the reasons that it's most quiet, one of the most, or the most quiet modular on the market. All right, so with that, I. If you guys saw that in my video, that's just my GoPro. That doesn't come with the helmet. Um, that's just where I mount my GoPro when I'm doing biker moto vlogs and that kind of stuff. So, all right, so let's let's look at inside here. I will tell you that this doesn't come out, this chin curtain, but there is a Velcro piece or a leather piece in here. And you can either have it in, it, you can see it there. It just gives a little more protection during the winter. And I'm just keeping it on all the time. I don't really care, but it does on Velcro, you can hear it, and that little leather piece comes out. This main mesh piece of the chin curtain doesn't come out, and that could just give you, I guess, a little more free-flowing air with the mesh in here in the summer. Um, like I say, I'm not real worried about it. This helmet is super cool, even in the 95-degree heat I just rode in. All right, so that pops out, and then obviously in here, you see the neck roll. All right, you can very easily, we're gonna break this down just a little bit just so you guys understand uh, how, let me talk about the reflectors real quick. So you see up in here, there's a reflector, there's a reflector, it's really nice when headlights hit that. They've done a good job of putting reflectors on the helmet. On the back here is a reflector right there. So, you know, chances of people seeing you uh, when headlight hits it, uh, that just increases it, um, you know, so that the headlights hit it and it can reflect and stuff like that. Little hidden things like that. All right, inside is the neck roll. You see two snaps here and those snaps are very, very padded. So this thing is so comfortable, guys. It's just amazing. That unsnaps there, and then there's another snap there. If I can get up in there, like so. And then this neck roll just pops out. It just has a reinforced metal plastic type bar around it. There's your neck roll, guys. And so also two reflectors underneath, if you didn't see that there, there's two reflectors there too. Um, so that's your neck roll. And this is all washable stuff, guys. And the helmet size I got, I guess, is a, I guess that's the size. But um, like I say, I got it at RevZilla, lawabidingbiker.com slash RevZilla if you want to use our affiliate link to help us out. Um, and they fitted it really well. Uh, I measured my head and I ordered that specific uh, size and it, it was perfect for me. There is a little break-in period, you know, ride it a few times and it will loosen just a little bit. So, uh, but it was very, very comfortable out of the box like that. So, in here, I will tell you, uh, Shoebirth is the only one doing this that I know of. See the two rivets back here on the back of the helmet? They're doing this uh, extra straps back here. And it's, a, it's for a head roll, basically. Um, and it's to help in a collision, because some guys will lose their helmets. And with the chin strap on, and most helmets just have the chin strap, and your head can actually roll out. And what this does when everything's tightened, like in your head's in there, it keeps this around your jawline and that uh, prevents your head from actually, depending on the type of collision, from rolling out of the helmet. So that's technology that only Shoebirth is doing that I know of right now. So that's pretty cool. Again, DOT ECE rated. And let's go ahead and take this, this moisture wicking liner, and I'll tell you, this stuff is amazing. Um, like I say, 95 degree, and I wasn't even sweating. Um, maybe just a little moist, and that's it. My back and everything was worse than my head, which I couldn't believe. All right, so... All you do in here is there's just little uh, tabs, and I just pop that one, you can see in there, and you just pull a little bit, and you just work your way back, and I don't know if you can see in there very well, but there's another tab in there that I just popped right out of there, all right, and that's your kind of your cheek pads, so to speak, and then on the back here, we're going to get the main, I'm going to go over here and do this cheek pad, and it pops out the same way, and you'll see there. Make sure you have this right here. This is the uh, main liner over the top of your head. It goes through there, and then it snaps in and goes in the tab there. It's pretty It's pretty easy once you start popping these tabs to understand what's going on there. There's another one down there, guys. 
that I popped, okay? That is your cheek pad, all right? And you can see that's completely free. Now, on this video, I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but uh, it, there, this strap goes through and it loops around the main strap here. So um, that takes just a little bit of work. You gotta pull fabric back and you gotta pull this out a little ways and then get your loop. But it, like I say, it's self-explanatory and then you can get this whole cheek pad out when it's time to wash. Uh, this makes it a little more difficult, I will say that, with this head roll system, um, but it's worth it and uh, it can be done. It can be done, it's not a problem. All right, so once you get all my cheek pads, I'm gonna pop this last tab on this cheek pad. All right, and there you go, I just popped it out. So both cheek pads are free and that's how those would come out, guys, for wash and you can wash all this. And then our main, our main piece here that goes along the top, try to keep that out of your way. I'm just pulling up and pulling out. And then on the very front here, it just slides in those little deals, this plastic brim slides right in there. And that is the main piece there across the top of your head. All right. And of course that's washable too. It's very, very nice. Let's take a look inside here a little bit more. You can see now the two holes in there and right up, I'll try to keep these out of your way. There's two holes right up in here and they're very large holes and that directly relates to this vent up top and opening and closing. And then of course, it's got the channels. You can see the channels that run down and then through the back, through the back and it comes out right there and that's where that neck roll right there, it vents the air and it creates that uh, venturi type effect and, and sucks all the air through that channel. And it does a very, very good job. I wanna mention that Schuberth also teamed up with another Bluetooth company and it is uh, Schuberth OEM type equipment now, guys. And that is a Bluetooth head system, I, headset system. And I just wanted to show you in here, um, obviously the Schuberth has the cutouts up in there for the ears. Um, so you can put speakers and stuff like that. The beautiful part about it is Schuberth took this exact, it's called the SRC, the Schuberth SR, SRC Bluetooth system. And I might eventually get it just to do a review. I'm not a huge uh, communicator with when I'm riding, but um, it has a lot of features. And it actually, the buttons are in here that turns this whole neck roll replacement exactly like that is OEM into a Bluetooth system. It's got a boom mic. It's got the two speakers you put up in there and uh, you put your liner back in. Again, the SRC system, and then it's got a little boom mic on it and it can pair with other like Bluetooth devices so you can communicate with other people you're writing in. Additionally, you can pair it with your, uh, you know, smartphone and you can listen to music going down the road and all that kind of stuff. But again, that was another reason to go with a Schuberth. A lot of the other ones, um, you gotta do aftermarket setups and maybe you know, glue your Bluetooth on the outside here, um, stuff like that, that kind of to me is just junky. I really like the fact that Schuberth has the SRC system and that I can grow with this helmet if I have the need for that. Um, you can search for that obviously on any of our uh, uh, affiliates that, that you head to. And if you choose to get that, that's as easy as it is, guys. You just put it in, take this neck roll out, you put place your speakers, your, your boom mic is already built into that, and you're on down the road with Bluetooth capability for communicating with other riders uh, in your group and also for listening to music. So that was another uh, main reason I chose the Schuberth, but did, definitely wanted to mention that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're out riding and getting some riding in. All right, guys, peace out. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out. of the helmet.